wrong, Mom. Hey, seemed like old times in there, didn't it? Just you, me, and a bar with guys. What? Come on, you remember? Oh, wait a minute. You don't remember. It's the other one who remembers. Mickey. Guess I couldn't fool you, could I? What do you want? I want the other one. I want Tess. Well, Tess is gone. No, I'm not. Come on! Jesse, you're scared, and when you're scared, you need Tess. Nikki's right. Let me out, and I'll take care of things. <laughs> no, I can't. Tess! Come on, Tess. Come on out and play. Come on, you can be with your mother. You are nobody's mother. Hey, remember the, the roadside bar? Remember the good times, Tess? Please, no more. Yeah, it was me and Jess, or me and Tess. A couple of broads hanging out, having a good time, Tess. Stop it, please, stop! <laughs> good. You're just the girl I was looking for. <laughs> oh, give me Tito's. Oh, no, I can't do that, hey, but I'm glad isn't that what's his toes? So you did that on purpose. You manipulated Jessica to let me out. Why? Because you and me, kid, we're going to help each other out. I don't need any help from you. I have to go and find Ash. You know what? Before you take off, there's something you kind of need to know about the little old winemaker. I'm not interested in anything that you have to say about Nash. You're going to want to hear this. Trust me. Stop playing games, Nikki. I heard you talking to Jessica, playing with her mind so she'll let me out. What are you up to? In a minute, in a minute. Spit it out or I'm going to call Clint and just tell him you're on the loose again. Hey! Whatever happened to, like, honor among Walters, huh? Nikki, I have Clint's number on speed dial. Oh, okay, okay. Big deal. Okay, here it is. Your boyfriend, Nash, is in love with your better half. Hey, you, um, seen Jessica tonight? <laughs> Okay. Antonio's in a good mood for a change. So if you came here to stir up trouble, you should go somewhere else and drown your sorrows. Wow, talk about a dedicated employee. No, I'm just being a good friend, that's all. Antonio's having fun for the first time in ages. And I'm gonna keep it that way. Thank you, Layla. I'll take care of this. Oh. She is too good to you. Yeah. Yeah. Jessica's gone. Oh, I'm sorry, that must be my cue to shove off. Uh, no, actually, I was, you know, I was thinking about Tess, and I wanted to get your take on it. Is that the best you got? Nash is in love with Jessica? That's the big news. It's supposed to throw me for a loop. That ain't news. It's garbage, Nikki. <laughs> Nash doesn't even like Jessica. He wouldn't even look at her if he didn't think that I was somewhere inside. Man, you know what? Little Jesse must be getting stronger real fast. What is that supposed to mean? Well, see, I kind of figured you saw the way Jessica and Nash are when they're together. But if you didn't see it, see, that means that Jesse's getting the hang of shutting you down. He made her eggs, okay? He's a nice guy and she was hungry. He was feeding our baby. Nah, that was way more than nice. I don't have to listen to this. Right, because nice guys with girlfriends never get it on with other girls, especially when the other girl looks exactly like the girlfriend, only with way more money. You don't know a damn thing about me and Nash. I know about alters. Alters don't get the guy. Maybe you didn't. Now, you tell me something. Why the hell would Nash want to make Jessica feel better? He should make Jessica feel miserable so she takes a powder, like permanent, right? It's all right, I don't blame you. He's your first boyfriend, you know? You're used to pff, chewing him up and spitting him out. That was a long time ago. Well, yeah? How long? Months. It's cool. 
You ain't interested in my opinion, you let yourself out, and I will be on my way. What do you know, Nikki? Get your mitts off me. If you want to be friends, stop trying to play me. Hey, I'm just telling you what I see, you know? Mr. Boyfriend Nash is in love with Jessica. Not possible. You should have seen the look on his face when she was crying in his arms. Oh. She fell to pieces. What was he supposed to do? Hand her a tissue and keep on eating? Hey, you don't want to believe me? That's cool. You can just wait for him to dump you. Uh, Jessica doesn't even like Nash. We ain't talking about Jessica. We are talking about Nash and how Nash feels. Look, kid, you gotta face it. You got one thing going for you, okay? And that's your dynamite good looks. Problem is, Miss Jessica, she got that without even trying. Well, Nash isn't with me because of the way I look. Will you focus here? We're talking Jessica. You know, Miss Perfect? Miss Crazy Making Perfect? Just like her mother? And you, you are serious high maintenance. You've been making that Nass jump through hoops since the day you met him. You don't know anything about that. I heard what he said to Vicky. You, you stole his car. You kept disappearing on him. He calls you infuriating. Yeah, in a good way. <laughs> you know what? Infuriating? It's cute for a couple of months. Nobody marries infuriating. All right. What is this new observation you have about Tess? the way I see it. Ooh, this ought to be good. Jessica understands her actions have consequences. She's an adult. Yes, you're right. She is boring. Tess, on the other hand, hasn't spent much time on the outside. She's a child. Cause and effect mean nothing to her. What are you getting at, Tony? Look, take the paternity test, for instance. All right? She thought that by destroying the sample, she would get a reprieve. But all she's done is prolong this thing and cause you more grief. I mean, she's got you hanging out here while your uh, your vineyard goes to hell. You two are living in a fantasy world. Tess is real. And our life together is as real as yours and Jessica's. Jessica will be integrated. Tess will disappear. Jess and I will have our family, and you will have spent a year of your life chasing after some ghost. Are you prepared to watch it play out that way? Jessica's the kind of girl guys lose it over permanently. Yeah, not Nash. Tell me something. You ever been loved just for yourself? Huh? Like by a Vicky or a Clint or anybody? Of course not. You know why? Because you ain't lovable and she is. <laughs> well, I'm a hell of a lot more lovable than you are. That's not saying a lot. Thing is, I think Nash thought he loved you. But then he met the real deal. He met Jessica. So, kid, you know what? Looks like you are on your own again. Just like me. Care, if it takes 10 years for me to get Tess back, it'll never have been a waste of my life. Tess is my life. I would have thought that you, of all people, would have understood that. I do. Only difference is Jessica's here. Well, she's not going anywhere. I know you love Jessica. But I love Tess just as much. No, wait, I love her more. Why? Because Tess is twice the woman that Jessica ever will be. She's an immature child. Look, you've never even bothered to get to know her. You've dismissed everything about her. Even Jessica admits that Tess is a very important part of her personality. Yeah, she's one piece of Jessica's personality, a small piece. She's the best piece. She's a woman on fire, full of life and conviction. Jessica is a watered-down version of her. I mean, she's nice enough. But I live for Tess, and I will never give up on her. You know, your grape stomper, he is one fine-looking guy. And he can have anybody he chooses. He wants me. He did want you. Till he found out you're just a made-up person. Come on, why the hell would he want to put up with all that drama? when the real thing is right there for the taking. You shouldn't be, uh, you, you know, um, be. Jessica, sorry. Yeah, I know. You're who I came here to see. 
We saw a picture of the baby. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's beautiful. Just like its mother. You're a really nice person, Nash. I'm sorry that we didn't meet under different circumstances. Hey, maybe this will clear up any confusion, though. No? You're right. Huh? I said, you're right. Nash does love Jessica. Who wouldn't? about you but i'm gonna get out of this town before clint and them head drinkers catch up to me and turn me back into vicky i'll go with you stop it i can't think what do you want to think for? Think it stinks. Don't do it. Pull over. What? I just saw a bus station. I want to get out. Yeah, I'd go where? Like a one-way ticket to Podunk? No friends, no money, nothing? You're stupid. You got a better idea? Yeah. I'll come up with something. I always do. This always worked out so well for you. I got me something better than a plan. I got me a lifelong goal. First of all, I'm going to dump all this dead weight I've been carrying around for years, take my life back. And when I talk about dead weight, I mean that serious excess baggage named Victoria. You're just going to get rid of her. You betcha. And then I'm going to get the hell out of Blandview. And it'll be Nikki Smith all the time. Oh, I hope wherever you are, you're warm and safe, and you know I'm waiting for you, Tess. I'll wait for you forever if I have to. Antonio? Where did you say that Vicky took Jessica? I told you they went home. Okay, I just called Landfair. Lois hasn't seen them, and I can't reach Jessica on her cell phone. Cheer up! You should be thanking me. I saved you years of heartache. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, because it's really been a dream of mine to be trapped in a stolen car with a middle-aged delusional... Shut up! If it weren't for me, you'd be stuck in the bottom of Jessica's psychic pit for the rest of your life. Watching Loverboy get his hooks into her. Trust me, it's no fun watching the good twin getting it on with the love of your life. Oh, that happened to you. You know what? You're better off this way. You can go back to your original plan, you know, like pre-Nash. Party. Just party all the time. Well, it's a little late for that at this point. Ah, you'll get back to it. The important thing is we're free. We're on our way now. You know, we can uh, look out for each other. You've never wanted to look out for me before. You've never liked me. Well, you know... Now we're a team. We're the first altars club. Why, Nikki? Why what? Man, have it here around. Just, I don't know, gives me options. You know what, that's it. Pull this car over and let me out now. No! We're gonna stick together if we're gonna stick it to the Buchanan's. I am not siding with you on anything. Not after what you did to me. Oh, man, not that again. You're damn right that again. Now pull this car hey, over. knock it off. You're gonna get us killed. Jeez. You gonna answer that? Hello? Vicky, it's Antonio. Is everything all right? <laughs> oh, no, Antonio. Everything's just fine. I'm out for a drive. It's snowing. No, it's beautiful, actually. Jessica, is she with you? Yes, she is, actually. Um, you know what? She was so tired. She fell fast asleep in the car, poor baby. But there's been no sign at all of Tess tonight. Hey! Pull the damn car over now. Whoa! Vicky? Jessica? Instead. <laughs>